guys, thank you so much for joining us at Tantrum House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Lika Meadows, and this is the Saturday Morning Morning Show. Hey guys, thanks so much for being a part of our show this morning. I hope you're having a wonderful Saturday morning. I got my main man Lincoln here. My other two junior dudes are going to be joining us as well for this episode. We've got a couple fun games that they wanted to show off. Kevin and Melissa are here, Sarah's here, I think we maybe have some interns that are going to be jumping in. We've got a bunch of great games that we want to cover this morning. We're looking forward to just hanging out with you guys and having some fun. Hope you guys are chatting in the comments below. Before we get started, let's give a shout out to our sponsor. That's right, we want to give a shout out to Queen Games, the sponsor of our show. We're going to be looking at their game Luxor later in the episode. And then The Op is one of our sponsors as well. And I think we're going to be playing one of their games at the end of the episode. So be sure to hang around. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to chat with us and hear what's going on, check out our new Discord channel, Tantrum underscore house. And uh, let's get this show rolling. Welcome to the Saturday morning board game show. Uh, I have Dan and Liam here with me and we're going to talk about Luxor in just a minute. But first, I have a few announcements. We have a new Discord channel and I think we'll put a link to that in the chat below. And you can um, talk and hang out with us on that and all the other Tantrum House fans. So looking forward to um, chatting with you there. Uh, we also have a survey that we have on our website, so you can go to tantrumhouse.com and click the tab for survey and just give us some feedback about what you like watching and what you'd like to see in the future. But Saturday Morning Board Game Show is sponsored, one of our sponsors is Queen Games. Uh, our other sponsor is The Op, so at the end of the show we're going to play one of The Op's games uh, for you and then now we're going to talk about Luxor. Uh, this one was a Spiel the Yards nominee two years ago. It is an interesting um, take on just the uh, movement, roll and move game. Uh, it throws in some interesting things in the game. Every We have it all set up here on the board. You're trying to collect sets of certain items and also make it to uh, the sarcophagus room in the very center, the burial chamber. So on your turn, everybody has a hand of cards. Dan, what's interesting about what you do on your turn? So the interesting thing with this is you, as you build your hand, you're actually choosing when you move to either play the right card or the left card. You can't just pick whatever you want to play. Mm -hmm. So then when you play a card, you do whatever the movement is. Yep. Um, so this one is roll the dice. So Dan would roll the dice and then, and then go I'll ahead move. and move. Uh, if he were, I don't know what color Dan would be, let's say blue. Move here, get the tile. This one, um, you have to have two people on here to claim it. So he could decide if he wanted to do that or not. And then it's worth victory points uh, once you complete it. So then when I draw another card to replenish my hand, that card has to go in the middle. So you're kind of strategically choosing, okay, I really want to play, for instance, if I wanted to play this four, I'd really have to try and figure out, okay, what order am I playing in to get to that four? Um, it's not just purely randomly choosing what you want. In this case, I happen to have a one, so maybe on my next turn I could play that one, mm -hmm. move my second person onto this tile. Now I've got the two followers there uh, to yep. then be able to claim that and have victory points. Yep. Uh, there are different tiles that you can place out on the board. This game comes with, um, 
I think it's five different mini expansions called Queenies. Um, some of them have quite a bit of different things that add to the game. Um, there are ones where you can add victory points along the top track. There's one where there is the treasure chamber where you have another piece that you actually jump off the board, take the yeah. secret tunnel. And um, then yeah, onto another board that's like a oh, cool. small miniature board and then you go through that one and come out the exit. Yes. So you're trying to pick up some extra treasure there before heading back to the board. So uh, this one play, it's a, probably a medi lighter game that you can play with your family, with your friends, um, but it does have plenty of strategy involved yeah. in how you move. Um, there are cards that are, allow you to go backwards as well. So once you pass over an area, um, you usually can't go back unless you have those cards. Um, you can pick up plus or, minus. plus or minus. You can pick up more adventurers along the way once you pass over that spot. So you'll add more and more to what you're able to do. So that is Luxor from Queen Games. Let's head to the couch. Hello. We are getting ready to play Control from Pandasaurus, and this is an area control game yeah, where we're control. trying to control the battlefield, the cube. Race to control every angle. And basically, on your turn, I'll, I'll start and demonstrate. I'll turn the thing so you can see my side. I'm playing pink and I have to play three cubes in a line and they must be adjacent to, the first one I play must be adjacent to one of my other cubes. So I could go one, Two. And then if I come up here, I am going on to the top of the board. So I've done three of the cubes. The next thing that I do on my turn is I place my flag to try to block mm. people from placing things. And, and we can't go to your block for the first turn, right? Yes. On the very first turn, you cannot go next to someone else's. So I'm just going to go up as well. Do you want to turn it so people can see? No. Uh, I want to be secret. <laughs> Super secret. So the very beginning, oh, a Amy's put hers to you the know. side, so she could I come know. down well, that side if she wants. Oh, you come down the, the outside. Interesting. So. But we found the top to be pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the game, you are going to score every side of the cube, at least the five sides that can be seen, not the bottom. So certain cubes could count for multiple sides based on where they are. And you don't have to place your flag in the last cube. Right. You could literally place mm -hmm. your flag in right. any of your cubes that mm -hmm. would help protect uh, your domain. Yeah, and they have to be, it has to be in a cube. You can't just right. Right. lay yeah. it Good across. Call. Good call. Now, right. now anyone's game at this point. I know, I'm gonna be, can do that and then this, what? right? The attacks have begun. Wow. Correct? Is that? I don't know if you can, can you go down uh, like that. Maybe not. I don't think you can go down, down. Fine. I will go this way. <laughs> <laughs> Ke Kevin just didn't want me taking over yeah. his stuff. All I, right. I don't know. We're just going to say she was cheating. She <laughs> probably wasn't. Oh, yeah. Covering yellow is. Oh, I was rules. definitely thinking about going up there. <laughs> Interesting. I would. So the first thing you do is you take your flag out, but take, he's not going. I'm not that going direction. that way, and I'm going to keep my flag there. Thank you. <laughs> there. Oops. Sorry. Blue. Sorry. Blue. Hey. Don't mm -hmm. touch my flag. Don't touch my flag. Do you want to keep your flag? There? I do. I want to keep oh, my flag right there. Keep, keeping it so blue cannot go wow, that's, where that flag is. Mm -hmm. It's kind of annoying, Kevin. Mm -hmm. It's kind of kind of annoying. <laughs> Just like me. Annoying. <laughs> All right. All right. That's it. I'm going top. Do it. Coming Come to up. The top. Coming to the top. Where's she gonna put her flag? Wherever it's most annoying for Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I think most annoy of... Kevin is, is the uh, <laughs> battle cry at the moment. <laughs> mm. Mm, choices, choices. Uh, I'll just stick it there. All right. I, I think they got the idea. So basically, you play until all of the cubes are gone, which is going to happen in the same round for each. Because you're all placing three blocks every mm -hmm. single time. And after everyone's done, then you're going to look at each side, but not the bottom. So mm -hmm. the four sides and the top. And you're going to look at how many you can see. And right mm -hmm. now, pink has 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that you can see. So she would get seven points for the top. She would do that for the, all sides and she would get points. Mm -hmm. And then you just count up all the points and whoever has the most wins. Yeah, and you can definitely go over other players' cubes. Mm -hmm. So after a while, you're like, oh, wait a second. I don't have as many cubes on this side anymore because Kevin has covered them all. Um, and that's control. It's a pretty quick game, like 15, 20 minutes. Yep. Over to the table. Hey guys, so we're looking at Drone Home from Play Monster Games. This is a crazy, super fast game. I'm gonna let Lincoln get his hands in there. Um, we are trying to get our little alien dudes into the drone. We've each got three. As we shoot them in, they're gonna load up into the drone, and once it's full, we have like five seconds to blast off. So it's gonna actually literally fly, hopefully not hit our camera, hopefully look great at the same time. And uh, whoever's able to get rid of their three monsters first is gonna win the game. So it's a quick and easy one. Are you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. Ready? Are you practiced up? This. I saw Dan practicing earlier. Huh? So you flick them and try to get them in. Flick them in. So as soon as they fall off, you can grab them, put them back yeah. in. It, once one gets in there, keep going, because you can get more than one in. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. Oh, man, oh, first thought, all right. Get in there, get in there. Yeah, come on in, woo -hoo! Oh, we knocked it out, Thank you. Yes. Whoa, all right. I got one. We got one out. Got it done already. Okay, all right. first try. Okay, I need to hit a First try, harder. go. Bang, a 10. Come on, stay in there. Stay in there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh that's so good. Obviously, you're so too practiced at this. All right, Liam. Oh, I think the rules are Liam has to wait until my turn's over. Yeah. Okay. Right. I'll, I'll I'm give just kidding. Ready? Right? Here you <laughs> go. Go. Oh, get in there. I am not hitting at one at all. Get in there. Oh, two. Two. Get in there. Stay in there. Why is Stay it flying? Wait, I Why? can't even hit an inch. No. I'm yeah, I got so one. Close. <laughs> I'm so close. Okay, I need one point. I lost. I this is addicting. It. it is. Right. It's very satisfying. Are you just stealing my pieces, Will? Uh, maybe. Wait, <laughs> so, did you get one in? Wait, you got one in? Get one oh, in. Yeah. okay, okay. Did you get two? I one. haven't got okay. any. This is so All right, hard. All right, Lincoln, you better redeem yourself. Ready to go. Oh, yeah. What the heck? Oh, I got one in. Uh, yes. Stay in there, stay in there. Oh, oh, my oh, oh, guy is always hanging on the edge. Oh, that is. Seriously, look at that guy. All right. Just because he was only me. Okay. This could be the final round. Liam yeah. got one. I got one. I got one. And I'm we all have one. one. We all have one. Liam's got two. No, I got two. In Ready? Oh. Go. Bang! Oh. Knock it out. Knock it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, pretty exciting. Drone home. Check that one out from Play Monster. Do I need to play longer? We only gave you guys 10 seconds. Liam won way faster <laughs> than I thought would be really possible. I, I don't know. We can go for a bonus round, round if they're, they're not ready to couch. Yeah, yeah I, I think we play in your round. Audience Please votes and says. All right, leaves okay. into round two. Okay. I'm going to win this round. Are you ready, Lincoln? Get, yeah, get your stuff. Here we go. These need, these oh, do we, are we taking all are our stuff in your back? way? Yeah. Are we taking all our stuff I think we, the leaves should have to take all his stuff back. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. This is. That's fair. <laughs> ready? Okay. Good. Ready? Ah. Locked in. What? Good. Perfect. <laughs> I think I it's, what's the, I, it's supposed either. to be like that. Yeah, oh, okay. it's supposed to be locked in. Ready? Go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. The mic can actually get in there. Come on. Go in there. Come on, stay in there. Stay in there. Stay in there. Come on, yes. Dan. Yes. Come on. Ah. No. Oh, 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 did you get that one? Did you get that camera angle? <laughs> All right, we'll go for one more round. <clears throat> if I win this, I'll be so happy. I will too. Ready, go. We should rotate. All right. part of the game. <laughs> I think Liam's the ultimate winner there. He did. He crushed us. <laughs> yeah. Way to go. Excellent job. All right, cool. I think we're ready, <laughs> ready back to the couch. We'll head back over to Sarah and Amy. So we are looking at Flash 8 from Scorpion Mask. All right. In this game is a real-time puzzle game. Uh, we have these little grids, and if you remember those little puzzles from your childhood where you have to slide the pieces to, to try and make the picture. In this one, we are trying to slide the pieces to make a specific configuration on one of the cards, and we're all going to be competing at the same time, and as soon as somebody has something complete, We'll stop, grab the card, and make sure they have it correct, and then we will keep going and keep playing. So, 
we'll we'll do a round or two here. Now some of these cards, this only has three, this has four, this has five. Are there different point values? There are. So the cards, um, they have a little symbol in the corner. If it's worth two victory points, the harder ones are two. Mm. The ones that don't have that symbol are just one point okay, each. Okay, so that's at kind the, of a strategy. Yeah, you, you go it's going to be a little harder to get the... Oh, wait, do you have three boards set up? We do have three oh, boards set up. Oh, okay. What? <laughs> that's right, it's going on now. Uh, <laughs> all right. We got four boards, okay. Yeah. I have to sit. All right, you ready? I think so. Set. Go. Okay. All right, got one. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Wait, so we have to stop and check? Yep. Oh, yeah, you okay. have to. Yeah. Yep, yeah. There we go. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Yep, okay. okay, keep going. Still going. Keep going. Keep keep going. going. I'm pretty sure Will was. Got one. Go. Oh, that's what I was working on. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. There you go. Let's see here. Apparently, I was not very good at these uh, slidey games as a child. <laughs> the skills. <laughs> Kevin is actually surprisingly good at this. That's why we didn't invite didn't him. Like good to see you. <laughs> Got this one. No. Uh, Blue, purple, yellow, green. Cool. All right. Go. I will. I will. Go. Oh, I don't have this. Okay. Nope. Uh, uh, how do I do got this? It. Got this one. This one was hard. Um, no. Okay. Yep. So you just keep sliding until um, one of the stacks, or you play all like of multiple them. Multiple stacks run out. Well, yeah. 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 And and then you count up your points and score. Yeah. And your points are. Did you already explain that yes. some of them are worth more? Yes. Mm -hmm. Some of them are worth the harder I got ones. Two points. I got. Two, I got three, three points because I did one hard one. Champion. Yep. Yep, I really like the components for it. It's real simple, but it like it works pretty well. It feels fun. There's something really satisfying about beating other people to it, especially when you're shooting for the same one and they're like, you're like, I got it. And they're like, oh, that's what I was going for. It like yep. sets you way back. The cool thing is we've also played this with kids and it works well to be able to like stack the deck so give them the easier to do ones and be like, hey, everybody, yeah. this is Lincoln's. He's going to work on that. Everybody else work on the other three. That way they don't get frustrated mm -hmm. by not getting to finish yeah. it finally. And that's not something necessarily in the rules, but it was an it was easy, house rule. Yeah, it was an <laughs> easy, easy modification to play with little kids. Right. Yep. So, yeah, yeah it's fun. a fun uh, little dex, kind of dexterity little puzzle game. Flashing. I found Flash. myself going cross-eyed uh, <laughs> while doing this. Yeah, and, well, and the cool thing is because you're sitting at different angles too, like everybody's kind of doing a different puzzle anyway. Yes. Even if I'm working on the same one, like I'm going top, you know, top left, and you're right. going top right. So. Yeah. Yeah, the puzzle is a different configuration for me sitting this way as far as. Right. A little, little quick dexterity filler. Good stuff. Flash eight. We didn't talk very long, but I think we're back to the couch. Cosmic <laughs> Colonies, take it away. Welcome to the table. Melissa and I are talking about Cosmic Colonies which is a recent release from Floodgate Games. This is a tile-laying card drafting game, and actually, uh, we this is for one to five players. You start the uh, round with four cards in your hand, and basically what you're trying to do is get the tiles that you see out here. cards. <laughs> so we have the basic cards and the num the cards are numbered 1 through 20. Um, you're going to secretly at the beginning of each round uh, play one card from your hand and you're going to play.
in the area this one lets you go outside so every card has a special ability a special mm -hmm. power of course the one is basically the special let's power go first. let's go first that is a special right, power because, because these, these are, are highly contested, contested tiles because they do not refresh until the end of the round which is super important in the game right so during the round each player will play two cards correct yes and then basically after we play we'll just play pretend we play the second card Mm -hmm. And we reveal, we do the round, either collect resources or build, do the special powers. Then what happens? The interesting part, this is where the drafting comes in. It is a different type of drafting than what we would normally consider drafting. Right, now we're only playing with two, but in a normal game, you're going to pass your cards to the player to your left or right. I think it's left. And, and the clockwise formation, You they get the cards that you played. And usually these are pretty good cards because you... <laughs> didn't want to get rid of them. You wanted to play them. Right. So you're always going to have four choices mm -hmm. of cards, but the cards that you choose from, you know what two of them are going to be for the next round because it's the ones that your neighbor played that round. So that's the basic game. The advanced game brings a couple new things. Another side of the board, which has some different rules on uh, what can score your points, and the, there's a whole new deck of cards. Oh, with more actions. D different things. actions, and remember you're playing two cards per round. Mm -hmm. This on each of the cards has a day ability and a night ability. So if you play the card in the day side, which is your first mm -hmm. first part of the first round, of uh, the first part of the round, you're playing the day ability. If you play the card in the night side, on the second part of, oh. the, of that round, then you're playing the night ability. So you're getting even more decisions mm -hmm. with which cards you play depending on if it's the first right. or second. Personally I like the advanced game a lot more. There's a lot more going on. Mm -hmm. um, really, really like that. Like I said, a whole new mm -hmm. deck of cards. There is a solo game as well that has its own deck mm -hmm. of cards. Um, so when you place things on your board, you have to start you connecting. You have to start connecting. Mm -hmm. So where you start is going does to matter. matter. Yep. And at the end of the game you're going to get points for covering up certain, certain things. things. Yep. So you are kind of puzzling out where you want to place your tiles and which ones will fit. The um, grid resources, the components are really cool looking. They're not just regular cubes and it has a nice table presence. It's um, a pretty enjoyable game. I like tiling, polyomino mm -hmm. tiles with the powered cars. It just it's, it makes it for a fun game. So that is Cosmic Colonies from Floodgate Games. Over to the couch. So we're looking at Gugatama, which, which I, didn't I didn't actually know anything about this. I kind of missed the boat on uh, who this character is. <laughs> so there's like Hello Kitty, which is not a kitty, okay. as we all know. The new rave or whatever is Gugatama, which is just a super lazy, incredibly lazy, <laughs> sloth-like lazy egg yolk with a butt crack. That's like the defining characteristics of it. Awesome. <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah, great family game. I don't know. Anyway, this is uh, the card game from, is it Renegade? Who's this from? Renegade. Yeah, Renegade Game Studios. <clears throat> um, it's a trick-taking game. In the game, you have cards numbered from 1 to 14, and you are trying in your lazy nature to be, you don't want to win any tricks. So golf scoring. On your turn, uh, I don't remember how to choose who goes first. It's probably whoever's the laziest. I don't remember. Um, you, I'll go first, and I'm going to play a card, and you have to either play a card that is the same value, higher, or the lowest card in your hand. The game says that, how do you deal with cheaters? It says you shouldn't play with cheaters because they're not worth your time. <laughs> so uh, you have to play the same value or higher, or the lowest card in your hand. The goal is that on our set, we have seven cards in our hand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, the goal is that at the end, we don't want to win the last trick. Because okay. whoever wins that trick is going to add that score to their pile, and whoever gets like 21, or after seven rounds, whoever has the highest loses the game. So, Liam, you have to play either 10 higher or the lowest card in your hand. Whoever wins the trick will lead off the next trick, so it looks like I'm winning it. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter, like I didn't, that doesn't count towards any final scoring. And there is, there is one difference. If you win the trick with a 14, that's the highest card, then you choose who leads off the next trick. That is correct. So I'm going to try 13 again. Is that what I put last time? Like, uh, I think no, I put 10. 10. Uh, I'm going higher. All, All the right. cards have hilarious little quotes on them. I won't, you'll probably be able to identify which card this is, but there's like a picture of a burger with an egg on it, as you should <laughs> eat your burgers. And uh, he says, this is my burger. 14. I think Liam won it. Yep. So right. Liam so, wins with 14, so you get to choose who leads. Right. Um, who do you want to lead off the trick? Gangu. 
All right. Yeah, I like that idea. Um, oh, he's got his hand. I have no idea what this is, but it looks tasty. So we'll go with the number 10. Number 10. <clears throat> Liam lays a 10. Oh, Ooh. I lay a 10. Interesting. If everyone lays the same number and they all tie, whoever laid last wins the trick, unfortunately. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah. Un oh, not, wait, no, you don't want convenient. that, right? Right. I mean, okay. it doesn't matter too much, except for now I have to one. lead. Okay. People are asking uh, about even accidental cheaters. Accidental? <laughs> <laughs> You shouldn't play that is a great either. question. I don't know what the, the, the recommendation is on that. Uh, oh, Dan's taking it, but he's gonna force somebody else. Unless Liam right. also plays a fourteen, got rid of his lowest card. Uh, Will, you can lead. Okay, I'm so excited. I'll lead with a nine. I will match, match you. you. Right, he he takes, takes it. it. He leads. I really don't know what I'm doing here. I I, I think I have the winning strategy. We'll find out. It's gonna be interesting because I feel semi confident. All right, I don't have a six. I have to play my 14. Ah, well, I can slip in with a five. All right, I am not going to lead, hopefully. I'm going to let Liam lead. He plays an eight. I have to play my lowest card. I play a seven. Oh, so you Liam won, which is bad. It. You didn't want to win that. <laughs> He's like, yes, I won. No, that's okay. So you get eight points to go into the next round. We all uh, would reshuffle our cards and play. So you don't. No, well, golf scoring, which I didn't explain, but golf. You mentioned golf it. Scoring, you didn't mention it. Well, I didn't explain it. <laughs> sure. I assumed we knew what it meant. In golf scoring, you want the lowest score, so you don't want the highest. Um, <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Now, one card didn't come up, but the one, the one is pretty much meaningless through the game. But if you play right, it's it, it's great that it's the lowest card. If it's in the last trick, though, everybody gets the point value of the card they played. So you kind of penalize people and slip it in there at the end. Right, so if, may, if you have one in your hand, ideally you'd love to be able to hold on to it to the end yeah. to ensure that you don't win it. If you do play that one though, then yeah, you score one point, which is not so terrible, and everybody else scores whatever their highest final card is. But that's so. tricky because again, you can either play, you may play equal or higher, or you must play the lowest. So if you don't play higher, then you have to play the lowest. So that could mean you're Right, you're, you're gonna have to, to play this, one, yeah. yeah. Unless you've got multiples or whatever. So yeah, pretty cute stuff. All the cards have just hilarious, cartoony, you know, illustrations on them, and the sayings are, are pretty fun as well, which is great. And uh, if you're a trick-taking fan, which I am, yeah. I'd be interested in playing seven rounds of this to see. Like I felt like I'm pretty confident my five is pretty low. Mm -hmm. I was surprised when you pulled out like a six or whatever. I was like, didn't you already play a low card? <laughs> I had all high cards to start off with, except for that five. So. It was interesting. I could definitely see some strategies evolving as you play it. I don't know what the player count is. It looks like it plays up to, doesn't say on the bottom of the box. Wait, on the top side of the box, uh, yeah, seven players. So you get a, yeah, seven players, seven cards. Makes some sense. Two, two to seven. Yeah, two to seven. Tiny print right there. I was seeing the age is seven or up. <laughs> the age is, yeah. yeah. I mean, numbers wise, I'm sure Xander could play this, no problem. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, fun stuff. That is Gudetama from Renegade Game Studios. Are we ready back at the couch? We are on I the I didn't couch. hear a resounding yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hello, hello. So we are looking at Apollo, a game inspired by NASA Moon Missions. So in the game, you will either play as Mission Control. You'll have one person play as Mission Control, and everyone else will be an astronaut on the ship. And there are two missions in this game. There is a Gemini mission and an Apollo mission. The Apollo mission is a little bit harder, so you can do the Gemini mission first. Definitely do the Gemini mission first. Yes. All right, and it comes with these cool little packets. Reminds me kind of the space food. Yeah, space cream. food. <laughs> yeah, space food, just super cool. Uh, in the game, uh, the astronauts have a board here that they have to complete their mission, and they have to complete a number of experiments before their um, lun or their module makes it all the way around and back to Earth. They get to orbit two times, and then they must successfully come back to Earth. So in the game, uh, the astronauts will roll some dice, and then they will allocate them on their control panel board here. And you put all the numbers together regardless of what, oh, we rolled lots of fours. Each, each number goes, corresponds with some type of thing that we're trying to do. So there's flight control, the power distribution, life support, experiments, and communications. So 
any time that we haven't completely filled up an area, it takes a little bit of damage, and whoever is playing Mission Control will have to move the their dials down, and things will happen. So if they completely lose um, a power distribution, power for distribution, <laughs> uh, we then alert will come up. And you might get too many alerts, or it may get to where you have no communication back with Houston, which can be a problem. So anyway, you'll then there is a timer, and you must allocate the dice um, somewhere out on the board here. Whoops! And out here, you can use them for certain things, so like the experiments. You don't even necessarily know what the experiment is starting off, so you may have to use some communication with Houston to figure out what you're working on, and you'll Which need... Which is also limited. Yes. So they... Houston will usually only give you a... is You need yellow dice or you need fives, so unless you spend a bunch of your communication, mm -hmm. you may not know exactly what you need to do for the experiments. And you also have these other cards that you have to complete so that you can make it through your space flight around the Earth and make it back. And these are your flight stages which line up with the different stages of yep. your orbit. So you have to complete stage two before mm -hmm. you get to stage two. Yep, so flip over this card to begin the mission. So this first one is a freebie. We made it to space. So it has these really cool illustrations. The next one is maneuver your vessel. So you have to have all the same color dice with the same number. So you not only have to allocate dice for your experiment, you also have to allocate them for um, your maneuvers around space. And there are only a certain number of dice. Right. So you have to be real strategic and plan what you're going to do. Uh, Amy and I played this with Ryan. Ryan was mission control. And we got down to the very last die. We made it back to Earth. <laughs> well, it was, it, yeah, it was an adventure. <laughs> it was an adventure. Yeah, so I think this game simulates kind of, it, there's a little bit of real time in that you only yeah. have a few minutes to allocate your dice and you have to take turns. So you're trying to communicate, but also you're timed right you have plenty of time if you know exactly what you need to do but if you're confused or like that's real life if you are confused right. and you need to be pushing all these buttons <laughs> things could go bad so it seems like it would be a very time consuming game but with that element of you have four minutes it's a pretty quick run through yeah it it didn't go on for hours like yeah. the mission control board is pretty cool and it has these dial uh, markers that you can slide when things happen. There is a marker to see if they've collected the correct things for the experiment. Um, the Whoever's mission control can also help mitigate some of the dice rolls. So yeah. if you can keep some of the systems up enough, then you can um, help mitigate if you didn't roll correctly. Because you only get one roll. There's no re-rolls. Yeah. So um, what you roll is what you get, and then you have to use what you've got. Yeah, there's to... a little bit of dice, dice manipulation, but not, not a ton. Yeah. So if you roll, like in this case, we rolled a bunch of extra fours, you can use those to move them somewhere else um, if you want to, or you can use them as bonuses. There are ways to fix systems if you've let them <laughs> go down too far. Everything's broken. Yep. So... Uh, they really got the theme down on this one, um, and there's there's some extra things in here. Um, there's some posters that come with it. So evidently, we are going back to the moon in 2024, which didn't know, but super <laughs> cool. All right, back to the couch, Kevin and, and Liam. And Sarah's coming too. I, because I'm just too. I'm just wasting time until Sarah gets over here. But we're about to talk about Color It which is a new game from Haba, and Haba is known for their uh, more family kids games, mm -hmm. and Sarah's going to explain Color It because all I'm doing is holding the box. Awesome. <laughs> so in Color It, there's a couple different ways to play. Um, this one is a great game if you can get a hold of it. Uh, I know there's a lot of families who 
are doing virtual school at home and they may have little ones uh, that they need to fill some time too. So this is a great game to pull out if you're working um, as a family on some stuff or it's just an enjoyable game. You can yeah. work on your colors and numbers. Everyone, there are several different um, pictures that you have. They have different pip values on each of the spaces. So it's kind of like a um, color by number type of thing. Mm -hmm. And you will roll the dice on your turn and you will be able to put a red, color a red two space. So pick a two space. Yeah, so there's like windows, more, another window, you can color the door. And then you color that while the other people are going. And then yep. we'll so then everyone you. goes around and marks the space. Um, there's a couple different ways you can play as well. You can, um, there's a little bit harder version and then there's an easier version for very little kids who may or may not understand all the choices involved in where I should place or what's the most strategic place. You can just say everyone gets to color this, uh, you know, number three space purple or yeah. whatever and then the first player to finish their picture will win. Yeah, and then it gets harder because like you might, oh, I've already colored all the twos. Oh, I rolled a two, so I can't play on this turn. So it gets harder and harder and you draw less and less until there's one yep. left. Yep, um, it also works some kids color faster than others. Um, helps you kind of pace and make sure that if you um, need somebody who needs a little bit more time, that's okay. They can keep coloring along as everybody else takes their turn. Yeah. So, um, fun little game, especially for younger kids. And then Liam, this is a little, little easy for Liam, uh, but uh, if you have toddlers especially, this one is a great game to bust out, especially this year with things being different with school. Yeah. All right, we ready back at the table? No, we're gonna stay oh, at the couch. Oh, we're staying at the couch this yeah, time. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Come back to the couch. <laughs> <gasps> We're back! <laughs> We're doing something a little different. Uh, we are going to be playing a game at the table in just a minute, so we're going to sort of set that up. But Dan and I, and it looks like Sarah and Liam, <laughs> are also... I'll let you guys out. That's fine. We're going to talk about the new Seven Wonders edition. So Seven Wonders is a pretty popular game out there. Uh, it's a game that is basically introduces a lot of people into the hobby. And this is the old version. <laughs> for two to seven players. It says it plays in about 30 minutes, which I don't think is a true statement, but no. that's okay. <laughs> Did they change the time on the box? I didn't see. That's okay. Uh, I would say for people who have played it. You can do it? Yeah. yeah. It still says 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Introducing that's an someone, though. That's somebody, yeah. yeah that's that, someone who knows how to play. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Anyway, Seven Wonders has a new uh, edition called Seven Wonders. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, yeah, shiny new box though. Shiny new box. Pretty. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit bigger, like a half inch bigger, around like all sides. And I would say the cover is a lot cleaner. And they even did some spot gold like UV gold on it, foil. gold yeah. foil on it. So let's take a look at what's inside. All right, we're gonna compare and contrast. So the rule book is definitely, um, I heard, is more streamlined, so it's easier to get into the game if you've not played, and I think I like the look of the rule book a little bit better as well uh, for the new one. Thank you, sir. And then we have the new player boards. The, one of the main differences um, in the player boards are not only are they bigger, but the backs of them. Night and day. What? Night and day, whereas these just have the same art on both sides. Yeah, this one looks so. really slick. You've got the statue in the sunlight, and then you've got nighttime with yeah. some torches lit. Can I find that one in here? I don't know. Ooh, sunset it's on the pyramids. It's the parthenon. It's the parthenon. This one? The, the statue one. Oh. Hmm. Do we have that one? Which one? No, I don't, no, I don't think we have that one yet. No, yeah, I've got, I've got expansions upon oh, expansions. expansions. Oh, okay. there it is. Here it is. Let's pull that one back out. Olympia, yeah. There it yeah. is. All right, so I feel like they zoomed in a little bit, maybe. I don't know. And then the yep. back. The back has new art. And you still have, I don't know if they're the snow. They're not. They're, they're, they're a little different, so your goals different. are different. Your, mm -hmm. your rewards are different, and they also change from side to side. So just the base game in the new edition, they didn't add any expansions or anything like that, which is important to know. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, the card backs are, are different. They look awesome. They do. Got kind of a, I don't know, what is that? A 
foil, foil, foil look, look to it. it. You've got your silver. Mm -hmm. You've got a nice gold instead of that bronze, purple, blue, or blue, purple, whatever it was. Oh yeah, they, I have them over here. But yeah. the, well, the one thing I really like, and um, oh, I didn't even open that one. <laughs> there it is. There's the yeah, there's the blue, the blue and the purple. Um, what I really like is they don't have the black border on the new cards anymore, so they run right to the edge, so the bleed's all the way to the edge of the card. Yeah. You want to talk a little bit more about the cards themselves too, Dan? Yeah, they, they got rid of the... I mean, they still chain uh, on top of each other, um, but instead of having like the symbols and the names written down the sides, um, now a lot of them have... Of course, I'm not going to find one now. There we go. Um, they have these little icons. You probably can't see it, but it's a teeny icon that just tells you the type of card that you're looking for next. Um, but then in the next stage, you're going to have that same symbol. So you're not looking for it to say the West Trading Post or whatever. Um, you just have a little camel here. Uh, so I, th I think that streamlines it. It helps you see, uh, pops out a little bit more from the card the way that they've done the art and just the full the full art on the card is always nice to see. Uh, they did upgrade the victory points, so I think you can see the victory point numbers a little bit easier mm -hmm. uh, with the, the color choices and yeah, the graphic contrast, design yeah. contrasting on that. One thing I am a little disappointed in is the coins are pretty much the same. They're the same. They're... Is, the, is the graphic different? Nope. 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 I think they're exactly the same. Yeah. So I wish they had maybe made them plastic, or of course metal would have been even um, better. One difference is these ones have, they're not perfectly round in the original, and these ones are a little closer. A little closer to perfect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is okay. That doesn't so, bother one me. One disappointment I think would be the coins. I think I like everything else about the new edition. So if you like Seven Wonders, this is definitely, oh, they streamlined some of the cards too. I think the gameplay, I think they really made sure that the gameplay is more mm -hmm. tight in the card combo and what you're doing. So some of those chains cool. that you're talking about. Yeah. So I think they yeah. really did a lot of play, more play testing over the years. So that yeah. is something else. Yeah, it should be easier to teach um, or to learn from mm -hmm. the rules if you haven't played this game before with the newer version. Um, if you, uh, a lot of people end up getting this on sale at places like Target. I see it come yeah. up frequently oh. on social media, or on social media people post like, I found this on sale. And I think that's one way that people who aren't necessarily deep into the hobby mm -hmm. might pick this up. This will be much easier. I have so many friends who are like, I'll just teach you Seven Wonders the first time. There's a lot of icons to understand what they do. And once they play it, once they're like, oh, this isn't bad at all. But that first jump into the game, learning it yourself is hard. I think that fixes this rule. Someone that fixes. mentioned that they love Seven Wonders Duel. That is another change, I should say. In the base game, it says a two to seven player game. In this game, it says three to seven players. Yes. So because Seven Wonders Duel is out now, I think that's one of the main reasons they did it. And I would say, personally, I don't know if I would really want to play Seven yeah, Wonders it's... this game, two player anyway. So good on you guys talking about that. Um, yeah, I think we're almost ready. Oh yes, we're going to do uh, Back to the Table, and I'm going to talk about one game before we start. Okay. Before we play a round of Get Riled. We're going to talk about our favorite game, Clue! Boz Burgers. <laughs> so, Clue is of course a pretty mm -hmm. classic game. I know a lot of people out there love the theme to, uh, to uh, Bob's Burgers. Thank you, Melissa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so now you have a Bob's Burgers uh, clue game if you're interested in that. This is a game from The Op. We thought we'd mention that because The Op is another sponsor to the Saturday morning board game show. But we want to talk about Get Wild, which is also from The Op. Yep. So if you're familiar at all with Astro Trash, this is a very similar game. We are going to play three players. Mm -hmm. And basically what's going to happen is there are no turns in this game. It is simultaneous. Everyone will roll their three dice, and the dice will show an animal, a number, and a location. If the animal you roll is not the animal that your national park wants, you are going to remove that animal if you have it from your board. The number shown, and then to the location on the die, either it's going to show the main board, it's going to go left for the player to your left, right for the player to your right, or a question mark means you can put it anywhere. If the number, if the animal is the one on your 
board, then you're going to take it and bring it to your park because the first person who can have only their animal in the park calls nature restored and it ends the round and then we'll do scoring. So let's see how long it takes to do one round. I am at the Rocky Mountains and I want eagles. I'm at, I got bears. So Yosemite and bears for Liam. Okay. Hatteras. Hatteras? And, and they need turtles. Sea turtles. turtles. Okay. All right, everyone have their dice. We're going to basically have a bunch of real time craziness happening. All well, right. To clarify, do I need all of the sea turtles or I just need only sea turtles? Only sea turtles. Okay, so you I don't can just have, have to one. have all of them. Yes. Huh. If it's and the only you, thing on your board. So, yeah, when you roll the animals, you give that animal away. If it's not a bear, you give it away. Okay. If it is a bear, you take it. For you and for me i'm doing that with eagles all right let's go sea turtles oh, i don't want to give you sea turtles because that's what you're looking for i'll give you bears all right snakes to the right oh only one snake because i had a one don't cheat yeah all right i am giving coyotes to the center I am doing coyotes to the left. I don't have any bears. Oh. If you don't have any bears, I don't have any buffalo. All right, I'm giving two snakes to the right. No, one turtle. <laughs> one turtle to the left. No. All right, one bear to the right. I haven't gotten any eagles yet. Ah, stink! I'm giving you two oh, sea turtles. Oh, a bear. Then keep rolling. Uh, buffalo. All right, a sea turtle. I don't have any sea turtles. Uh, no, I don't have any. I coyote, don't I don't eagles. have any. Two eagles to go. Don't have any coyotes. Two eagles. So if it's my turtle, I take. Yes. So I need to take two eagles from the left. Oh. I only need some eagles. Now I need to get Here, rid of some bears some and some buffalo. <laughs> A buffalo to the left. Two a buffalo to the right. I have so many snakes. animals. <laughs> two jaguars. Two. I am being overrun. Uh, I don't have any. Sea turtles. I don't have any eels. Um, um, two of these to the right, sorry. One snake <laughs> to the right. There. All right, I am doing a eagles. buffalo to the right. <laughs> I am doing a um, buffalo to the three right. Three snakes to the left. <laughs> There's too many animals. I'm doing a snake to the right. <laughs> <laughs> My park is okay. overrun. Everyone likes Buffalo. Cape Hatteras. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great vacation spot. All right, I don't have any turtles. Three. All right, snakes. hey, it's a bear to the left. I'm giving you a bear. Yeah, I'll take it. I don't have any eagles. One turtle, one turtle from, from the, the right. Ah! Wait, but I need it. <laughs> uh, I'm giving um, you a buffalo. Snakes. I don't want a buffalo. I don't have any snakes. <laughs> I get to take two eagles. I don't have any bears. <laughs> I have everything. All right, I'm taking an eagle from you. You're welcome to it. All right, I don't have any of those. Oh, yes. Okay, buffalo to the. All right, sea turtles. I'm gonna put a sea turtle up there. Oh, I should have given a sea turtle to Liam. That's what I should have done. Buffalo. Buffalo. He's almost there. Buffalo. Don't have a sea turtle. Buffalo. I'm Come on. taking. He Come doesn't on, have any from the left. Oh, buffalo to the right. Um, I'm done. I will leave bears. You didn't say the correct phrase. Oh, habitat <laughs> story. <laughs> All right. Good job. So what happens now is the player who uh, ended the round gets three points. Ta da! Three points. Yay. Now what we do is we count. How many of the correct animal, man, animal we have on our board? Five. And you get that many points. But the rest of us are also going to count the wrong animal. And if we have more wrong animal than right animal, we don't get any points. Good news is we don't get negative points. Well, it's a fun game. <laughs> <laughs> so I have six eagles, but nine other things, so I don't get any points. Uh, I'm guessing there's no points shh, there. Shh. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. <laughs> so you play multiple rounds until someone gets 20 points. There's some variants in the game as well that make it either easier for younger kids or even more crazy for families. 
And I think now we're going back to the couch. We have the couch. No, we're not. We're almost there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining us for our Saturday morning board game show. Hope you had some fun learning about a bunch of new games. Thank you to our sponsors, Queen Games and the App. We appreciate it. We wanted to kind of give you guys a couple quick, like, know what else is going on. Uh, I thought Kevin was going to jump right into it. Tell us about some of the other live shows that we're doing. Yeah, gonna... before we do that, I will say I did want to mention Queen Games. We mentioned at the beginning of the show, we forgot to mention they have a Kickstarter coming August 18th, which is literally this week. Sweet. So Tuesday, yes. they are launching their Steffenfeld City Collection, oh, yeah. Yeah. which is revealing their first two games that you can actually purchase or back for, and then eventually... You can, um, I think you can also go for their next two games, which won't be right away. They're actually going to have another campaign for that later. But their first two games are going to be Hamburg and Amsterdam, which is a re-implementation of Bruges and Macau. So, cool it's pretty stuff. cool awesome. stuff. Anyway, be sure to check out those our live shows. Yeah, yes. 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 So we got one coming up this afternoon. Yes. We're going to be playing Ganesha. Uh, this is from Crowd D, Crowd games. D games at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, so in about an hour. Yeah, we're all going to go eat lunch <laughs> and come back and immediately jump into that one. They're going to uh, be eating lunch, basically. While playing, yeah. <laughs> it's going to be great. You're going to love it. Don't be uh, ADD on us. Um, we're going to go to Bob's Burgers. On? Is that where we're going? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, I'd love to go to Bob's Burgers. <laughs> <laughs> what else we got this live? So next week we are playing a couple live shows. Uh, Thursday we're doing String Majig, which is sitting right over there. It. Friday, Funky Fruit, and we're also maybe playing the Harry Potter House Cup competition game what? modes. Maybe Friday night uh, is a worker placement game from the op uh, with the Harry Potter theme where everyone is, um, every player has their own house, so, and you're trying to basically make your house win the uh, House Cup. So, cool, cool. Yeah, a couple other things that we want to let you know about are a survey that we got going on right now. If you go to tantrumhouse.com forward slash survey, uh, we're doing a giveaway. And we've got some cool stuff that is going to be in that pack. Somebody is going to win it. Uh, it. It's just a quick, I don't even know how many questions, not even 10 questions, I don't think. We'll draw on to it. Uh, about just how you consume our media and what things you'd be interested about seeing in the future. So we'd love to get your feedback on that. And then and it can be entered for a chance to win something. Right. Which I did say at the beginning, but Kevin was checking his chat. So I understand. It's hard. It's hard to do both. <laughs> Um, Dan set us up with a Discord channel yeah. this week. Tell us a yeah. little bit about He's that. He's been working hard. So, so go to Discord and check out Tantrum House. Just search for Tantrum House there and then jump in. Join the chat. Just have fun. Uh, we do reward levels and points for the level more up. you I, I know all of a sudden I'm like, chat. Kevin, you're level one. Yeah. I'm like, what? What did I do? Will is especially two. competitive about this. Right. So yeah. see if you can get in there and beat Somebody Will. has already beat me, though. There's several. Oh, yeah. Michelle yeah, is at level five or six. Michelle's yeah. right. Six. I'm yeah. never going to catch up. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. There's hope, Will. There's, hope. No, there's, there's hope. secret ways of knowing. No, tell us the strategies. No, don't, how do we do it? it no, don't chatting? say anything. We just want to. <laughs> just, yeah, it, it's, it's through chatting. Check so, out the secret, the top secret channel. <laughs> <laughs> and, and just so you know, spamming does not work, Will. Right. You can't jump in there and just send messages all the time. That's why I haven't Leveled up. That's right. Yeah, but jump in there, and, uh, chat with us. We've yeah. got somebody in there pretty much every hour of the day. So it yeah, no, yesterday, yeah. I don't know if you saw it or not, but literally on the doorstep came Small World of Warcraft. I saw it. I saw um, a picture. So and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go live inside the chat, yeah, and I basically had a picture. I had my uh, computer up, and I basically was basically doing an unboxing live. So there's secret things that will yeah, happen. A little it. behind the scenes action stuff. One of the main reasons we set it up is that Amy Ace back there somewhere is gonna be starting up our. Twitch channel very soon, so if you're on Twitch, go check that out. Tantrum underscore house, maybe? Underscore. underscore house. Are we doing a test Tuesday, maybe? Uh, we're doing a secret test Tuesday. <laughs> you want to join us? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just going to be jumping on as a team. This will be, other than Amy and Larry, who are like pros at Twitch, uh, we have no idea what we're doing. So we're going to learn how they're going to give us the run through. If you want to secretly join in and watch along, you can. We'll, I'm sure we'll be talking about it on Discord as well. Uh, and then I think Saturday is the first real live stream. Next oh. Saturday, uh, Amy's going to be streaming. Do you know what? Are you doing some League of Legends? Or what tell are you... us what you want to see. You oh, there we go. Yes, tell <laughs> us. In, join the Discord and tell us in the Discord. La Amy, Amy, uh, Amy and Larry. Lamy and Airy. That's oh, hard to no. say. Just no. messed it up forever. Oh, no. Psychic Larry. <laughs> Psychic Larry and Amy Eggs are going to be doing a bunch of streaming for us. Uh, primarily video games, but we're going to sneak some video games in there as well. Amy, board games. games. Primarily video games, sneaking board games in. That's, isn't that what I said? No, no. <laughs> but that's okay. You We're said sneaking, sneaking video, video games, games in, in too. after you said it was something's funny. gonna be happening there. It's gonna be great. Uh, we maybe try to do some app reviews as well and some new coming video games. So uh, this should be a lot of fun. If you guys are on 
Twitch already, definitely check that one out. We'd love to have you subscribe and be a part of that. And one more thing, we do want to highlight our 24-hour gameathon it's coming, coming September 18th and 19th, right after Sarah gets her eyes done. Yeah. Well, <laughs> my eyes. I test her eye. What's no. happening? She's gonna no, get new I've eyeballs. Been, LASIK. Like, waiting for like for three Sarah. months to get into the eye doctor. Just anyway, twenty-four hours. COVID. Gameathon is going to be awesome for, starting at noon Eastern Time, September 18th, all the way to September 19th. And we're going to do giveaways and lots of fun stuff and play some new games that aren't even out yet. Some, um, if you're in the Discord channel, you'll see some of those that we're talking about doing. And we'd love your input as well. Yeah, so. let us know what you think we should be playing. We've got plenty of time. Uh, it looks like we've done good so far. Our camera hasn't overheated, so the new battery pack equipment is working, at least for one hour. We'll see if we can make it 24. Tim says all the cool kids are in Tantrum House Discord. That's right, Tim. That's You're right. there. <laughs> now we're cool. That's right. Thank you guys so much for joining us this morning. Thank you guys all for being yeah. here, playing along. Thank you, uh, intern Andrew, for running the switcher. Excellent job. I think everybody say you did an excellent job. I'll go back and watch it later and find out. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Hope you have a great rest of your Saturday. We'll see you guys next time. Hit that outro video. Bye. Bye.